Hello, this is Nathaniel Dino. I would like to show you how to cook crepes. The ingredients you will need are milk, flour, sugar, vanilla extract, salt, butter, and eggs. The tools you will need are a bowl, a measuring cup, a mixer, ladle, a knife, and a measuring spoon. The toppings you will need are Nutella, Hershey, Hershey syrup, whipped cream, and a banana, and other fruits and berries you would like. And you also need right pans to cook. Now let's have some fun measuring the dry ingredients. I measured all of my dry ingredients. One cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Now it's time to dump my dry ingredients into my bowl. That recipe only makes for 10 frames. But we're gonna have, since there's 22 of you in our my class, we're gonna have to quintuple the recipe. For those of you that do not know what quintuple means, it means multiplying the recipe by five. Now it's time to mix our dry ingredients. I mixed all of my wet ingredients. One half of a cup of milk, one tablespoon of butter, and two eggs. Remember, there's more to the more in these bowls because I'm multiplying my recipe by five. The vanilla extract will be added when, when we have all these mixed up in the bowl. Well, what you can see here, I had to upgrade to a bigger bowl. I'm going to mix my dry ingredients with my wet ingredients. First, I have to make a little pit for the eggs to go into. Now I'm going to dump my eggs into it. Now I have to mix my eggs in the middle. Now you can see it's getting a little bit harder to mix the eggs. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk to it. Now I have to add a little bit of milk to it. Keep, I have to mix that all up. Now, I'm gonna mix while I'm gonna be pouring the water, the butter. Slowly. There you go. That's all the butter dumped into it. Now I'm gonna measure one tablespoon of vanilla extract and dump it into the bowl. I think we're ready to cook. So first we're gonna take one half to three fourths of our ladle of our ladle and pour it into our crepe pan. Then we're going to swivel around the mix 
So it reaches everywhere in the crate pan. You might not get the whole crate pan, so you might need to get a little bit more. And put it on. of this crate turns golden brown to flip it. While you're waiting for that, go around the edges to start getting them loosened up for you to flip it on the other side. to get golden brown. After this, you do not need the spatula because you can just slide it off into our plates. And, we slide it off and pop back. This is my dad flipping on crate. And here he goes. No, nope, he's not ready yet. Let's wait for it to cook a little bit more. Okay, look that. He says, are you ready? Well, I think I'm ready. So go ahead. There you go. That's how you flip a crate. You can eat the delicious cripe with friends and family. <laughs> like, your, like your family. There's a piece. There's a piece. There's a piece. Yum yum, right? Yum yum. <laughs> yum yum. Yum yum. Okay. Okay. That's the delicious cripe. mixing our ingredients, we're going to start cooking. You can see that my pans are have low sides, not tall, thick ones. This is a real cripe pan. First, now we're ready to cook the cripes. Take one half. Now it's time to start cooking. We take one half of the ladle to three fourths of the ladle and dump it into our burns up. You have to start going out around the edges. I would go underneath, then you flip it over. Wait for that side to go like that. I think it's re I think we're ready to cook.